Namaste, kings and queens. Thank you so much for gracing my channel. Your presence is such a presence, so it's only right that I reciprocate you with the gift of guided messages. I am sending you all peace, healing, love, and prosperity, also health and wealth. Before we hop in, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell so you're notified every time I upload a beautiful reading. This is going to be a daily reading for the collective. What is it? Oh, December 8th, <laughs> 2021. All right. Let's go ahead and tap in and see what's going on with the energy between you and the energies around you. This could, I'm definitely being guided to love. I'm not going to front. All right. There's um, a really positive yet um, skeptical energy in regards to love right now. So let me see what's going on. Holy Divine Spirit, go ahead and provide me some messages for the collective today as to what they need to know in regards to love. All right. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. All right. So. There's some effort that needs to be taken here, all right? I'm feeling a reluctant energy, but we have trust and we have wedding, all right? Some of you guys could be engaged or could be planning a wedding. Um, some of you guys need to trust the, wen the wedding planner is what I'm hearing. Um, <laughs> others of you are just needing to trust the process or you're not sure if the person that you are choosing to commit to is the one for you. But we'll, we'll see what else. All right. We got pay attention to the red flags and deception. There it is right there. So a lot of you guys have definitely been tapping in are noticing some red flags in regards to your person or this is how your person is feeling about you someone is wearing a false self mask there are signs cautioning you this is the energy i got so it's like some of you guys want to make the effort but you're you're noticing some things okay something could be coming out in regards to somebody being deceptive we have retreat and we have engagement here Okay, so it's time to disconnect from the world. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment um, with romantic feelings there. So I don't know. I feel like collective, a lot of you could be engaged right now or you're in a connection, but something's off. Something's not right. You're not feeling it. You're not feeling this person. Some of you guys could be reconciling with someone and they're stating that they changed. They're no longer this person that they used to be, but you're noticing some signs. You're noticing that they're very well the same person they used to be. And it's like they're trying hard to hide this fact. And for some of you, you are wanting to make the effort. The effort is being thought about. I'm not showing, I'm not seeing the actions uh, being taken yet, you're still, you're still ruminating. Okay. I see, or I feel the energy of kind of retreating. Um, uh, if somebody proposed to you or if somebody does propose to you, I definitely hope this person does it in the privacy, like where it's just you two, because I strongly don't feel like it's going to be a yes. There's a lot of work that needs to be done here. All right. I feel like if somebody does propose, you're going to like let them know like, hey, I love you. I do want to be with you, but I need some time to think about this because I've been noticing some things about you. Like I'm willing to make the effort, but there needs to be some things revealed or is there something you need to tell me? Some somebody's holding something back here. Why is deception here?
We got the temperance and we have the strength card. So there's a Leo and a Sagittarius um, involved here. Doesn't have to be, but that's the energy here. Um, I feel like if somebody were to come clean or be honest about their deceit or the lies or whatever they're hiding from you, there could be a, a there would be a better chance at moving forward or reconciling or healing the connection. Um, the longer this person or you decide to hold back or decide to be deceptive, it's just going to catch up to you. Okay. Somebody also cannot be tamed or feel like they can't be tamed or they don't want to be tamed. They want to continue to live this life in this egotistical way, beating their chest. I'm hearing, um, I'm hearing, um, it's a part of a poem that I wrote, but I, I said, um, um, you got you beating your chest, um, running around he running around here like a king, but ain't got no queen. Um, it's somebody who just is refusing to change their their is refusing. Somebody is refusing to recognize that their ego is steadily pulling them down. Their ego is too big. They got a big ego, such a huge ego. And this person feels like you're always going to take them back. Temperance in the strength card. They feel or they know like, yeah, Ace of Swords, like no matter what they do and if they come back to you, you're going to take them back. No matter how much they deceive you, lie to you, play you. You're going to take them back. You're going to be willing to reconcile. I see some of you kind of changing that because you're noticing that this person does, for a fact, take your kindness for weakness. And that's why I feel like a lot of you are seeing this person. Um, we got the sun card. You're seeing this person's red flag, like their slip is hanging. Um, three major accounts off the back. I feel like there's going to be whatever this person is hiding, um, whatever red flags you're noticing, they're going to be, um, they're going to be exposed with the sun here. Um, definitely a Leo here. Leo, a lot of Leo energy. Yeah. Nine of pentacles with the three of pentacles. Hmm. Some of you guys definitely are single and I feel like you might want to remain that way until whatever information needs to come out about this person does. I feel like it is though. Um, hmm. I feel like some of you guys got somebody watching this person like at their work. Like you're telling somebody to keep an eye on someone or maybe you guys work together. You may work with your person, but you know, something's up, you know, something fishy is going on. I don't know why I lit that incense. It's just, it's taking me out. Why is engagement here? Mm -hmm. Three of Wands. This is something that you've, you've manifested. You've planted a seed in regards to wanting to be engaged or manifest a wife or a husband. Um, but I'm hearing, but did I manifest wrong? Did I manifest the wrong person? Should, yeah, with the world card in reverse. This is a cycle that's um, trying to repeat itself. I'm hearing a person has to change first outside of being a wife or a husband before you see any changes in the actual marriage don't get married to somebody thinking that go they're going to change no they're going to remain the same person the will of fortune retreat a lot of major arcana mm. king of pentacles Five of Cups with the retreat. 
yeah, a lot of you could be getting away. Um, you could be demanding um, separation or you could be asking for some space because you need some time to think. You need some time to heal. You need some time to cry it out. A lot of you guys are in a, a depressing energy here or you're sad, you're crying. Why? Why is that five of cups with the king of pentacles here? I feel like you you are going to find out something or something's going to come out in regards to your person. You could be dealing with the uh, earth sign. Yeah, six of uh six of wands. You're being guided to kind of just take your take your I'm not not take your power but protect your energy in regards to this situation. Because I feel like if you don't, this person is definitely going to use the fact that no, this person, I'm getting the energy, this person is going to easily be able to manipulate you or change your mind in regards to something, in regards to something you found out. Um, a lot of you guys may be traveling away from this person. You just need your space. You need your time. You, you I feel like a, there's a lot bottled up here with the five of cups in regards to this king of pentacles. Why is make the effort here? Page of cups, five of pentacles. Oh, four of pentacles, I'm sorry. Somebody could be holding on or wanting to make it the effort only because of a child. There could be a child holding this thing together or keeping you guys together or making somebody reconsider the connection or making somebody reconsider someone's deceptive ways. It's like, I'll put up with this until the child is 18 or something like that. That is not healthy. That is not feasible. That is not beneficial for you or the child, whoever I'm connecting with in regards to that. Okay. Let's get some um, some angel answers here. I don't know why I turned my heater on, y'all. I was cold, then I got hot. Hold on. All right, sorry you guys. So let's get some angel answers and see what Holy Spirit. Has for you all today. Messages for the collective, please as to how they should proceed in this situation for those who I'm connecting with Holy Spirit for those who are in this situation what is the best course of action Holy Divine Spirit Okay, so first card out, we got communicate clearly. Okay, so communicate how you're feeling. Okay, in regards to this situation, in regards to this deceit, this deception. All right, we have recovery. I feel like that's what a lot of you guys are going to be doing. And with this five of cups and six of uh, swords, there's something you're recovering from. You need to heal. You need to retreat. Definitely take the time to do that. All right. We have success. Beautiful. And then we have peaceful resolution. So I feel like with you recovering, all right, and with you communicating clearly, with you recovering from whatever heartbreak or betrayal or anguish in regards to this situation, 
um, this will bring a successful and peaceful resolution in regards to this, okay? But definitely communicate your feelings. Do not hold them up. Uh, do not hold them in. Do not keep them bottled up. It's only going to push you further and further into this five of cups. <laughs> Recovery is needed. Rest, rejuvenate. The Four of Swords is not here, but that's the Four of Swords. Recovery, rejuvenate, relax, retreat. Retreat is here. Some of you guys definitely need to get away. The Emperor here. Yeah, Six of Swords, um, Three of Swords, King of Swords with the King of Pentacles here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely getting an injury. Wow, with the King of Cups. A lot of male and masculine energy here. Somebody is um, working out of their masculinity like too much, too much, okay? Um, I'm getting to, if you're a feminine energy, you're, you're, you're working out of your masculinity here. And that's why there could keep being this heartbreak or betrayal or the connection just doesn't move anywhere because there isn't any balance that temperance there needs to be communication clearly about what it is that you feel because i feel like because this person whoever this is i'm connecting with because they treat you any old kind of way um and you're allowing it by your own against your own better judgment this is causing you to feel sad. This is causing you to feel defeated. This is causing you to feel heartbroken. This is causing you to feel inferior and like you need to be in competition with your person. I don't see any feminine energy but this uh, nine of pentacles, okay, which can be an energy of being single and abundant and feeling like you can, you got it. You don't need nobody. You can do it all. I'm going to say this and I'm going to end it. A masculine man, like, if they feel that they cannot bring anything to the table, um, because they, a lot of the times they like to feel needed. They like to feel wanted. They want to be the provider, okay? They want to be the one to make sure everything is running smoothly. They want to be the one to think logical, okay? They want to be the ones who... Um, who have emotional stability, right? They want to be the ones who are bringing in this, the finances. This is a lot of masculine energy, but which one are you? A lot of masculine energy. So I'm going to leave it here, Collective. I hope this helps. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell. And I will see you guys next time. I love you. I share.